<laughs> I went out and poof, everything happened. No matter what I do on my hair. Okay, well, we're live. Hi. Hi. No matter we're what live. I do on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about hair. Hi, everyone. Um, do you have a screen? I'm doing it right now. So hi, as we're waiting for everyone to come in, um, I'm Catherine, and I will be presenting today. Uh, and Lena's right next to me, so you'll be hearing from her as well. Catherine, our marketing director. Yay! <laughs> okay. Two o'clock. Hi, Cindy. Uh, yeah, if you're there, please say hi. So Catherine, marketing director, and happy June. Can't believe it's June. Can't believe half of the year is sort of gone. Right. Uh, kind of it's a good thing. <laughs> some of the, I hope some of the harder months are behind us. And um, I just want to welcome everyone for joining us for our first product awareness webinar. And as the title indicates, it's going to be a series. So mm -hmm. we are planning to do these once a month going forward. So you are all very familiar with, by now I hope, uh, with Lena's educational webinars. So these are now new in addition to. So you'll still see Lena, uh, but I'm also going to be there to do product awareness webinar series once a month. So with that, uh, click. So I have a clicker, I have a <laughs> helper. Have a <laughs> Next slide. So, uh, whoa, 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 you went one too far? <laughs> so most of you um, know us as the authority in body sugaring for, for almost 30 years. Mm. Uh, you've heard a lot of, uh, you know, perfecting the, sh the body sugaring technique. You've heard, you've seen Lena talk about how she came all the way along from 1991 to today. You've, many of you have been there with her. You've heard about the Kennedy theory. You've, you heard about the six steps to per perfect sugaring. Uh, and all of these things are there. What I'm going to talk today about is more about what do we talk about full skin conditioning or skin integrity and sort of going beyond what is just hair removal. Next. And she's going to hyper focus. The whole purpose of this entire new webinar is the hyper focus on the products that are highlighted on our quarterly campaign. So as opposed to, hey, let's do this and this and this on these products, That's coming. we're gonna hyper-focus. And no, I want them to know we are hyper-focusing. Okay. All right. She kind of stole my thunder from two slides from now, but it's okay. So what I was going with the story is that, but we're much more than excellence in hair removal, which is probably something you've already seen and heard. But today I'm just going to try and talk a little bit more about what does that mean? Um, and how does this kind of relate uh, to our portfolio of products? Next slide. So it all sort of leads and conditioning. And yes, sugar is part of that. So you know the company for sugaring. The brand is an expert, the authority. Um, and sugar is always going to be at the core. However, um, the full circle of skin conditioning talks about an overall skin enhancement, just better skin all around. It's not just hair, no hair which is great, we love it, mm -hmm. but it's more than that. Uh, and so the full circle of skin conditioning, you're probably familiar with this visual. I think it's a nice one. You have the sugar at the top. We have uh, the skin repair uh, on the right. So I would call that at three o'clock. Um, you have exfoliation at six o'clock and the nice mud detox at nine o'clock. And we kind of talk about these products uh, a lot. The product awareness, as Lena mentioned it, is going to be hyper-focusing because there's a lot to talk about. So if we don't kind of take a pause, talk about a product, we kind of skip over and go, what was that again? Mm -hmm. Well, I just hope that walking out of here today, everybody's going to go, I know everything about Mud Puddle. You can quiz me. I know everything about that. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Because once you know everything, you can Im immediately look at people and see what their problems are and know how the mud will help them. Anyway, I won't get ahead of myself again. <laughs> and remember, you're going to get a copy of this, and yeah. we're here to, to support. And I, I know if you have any questions or anything, okay? And there's no quiz at the end of that. So just relax, listen, enjoy. And, of course, as any other webinar on... There's no quiz? No. I thought I was going to do that. 
Oh, 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 maybe Lena has a quiz. Sorry, I did not plan a <laughs> quiz, but Lena has surprises all the time. So I'm be ready. And on the end, please, please, please put your questions in anytime, you know, when they come. And at the end, I plan to talk for about 20 to 30 minutes, me, but there's Lena, of course. Uh, but the last 30 you minutes, have a couple hours, <laughs> <laughs> the last 30 minutes are really Q&A. And that's where I hope yeah, to hear a lot from you. Yeah, yeah, but if yeah. something pops in your head and you don't want to lose it, please, please, please put it in the chat box. That's right. Okay. So full circle skin conditioning, we're going to talk about, you know, today is mud puddle. All right. But before we jump into mud puddle, I had one more thing. So I know that maybe some of you are aware of all of our products. Some are not so sure. Okay, I know they do sugaring, but what else do they do? So I thought I'll kind of put this slide to just sort of quickly say very simply. So what is Alexandria Professional Portfolio of Products about? We have our professional products. Typically, you see blue color around them, uh, and that's sugar, but that's also the prep products, right? The restore lotion, the essential tonic, everything you kind of need around servicing. The next one, which we call the skin tone color or peach, uh, or maybe coral for some, it's the healthy skin products. And that has to do with skin conditioning, making your skin better, helping your skin. And wellness products. So wellness, I think for most, when you imagine wellness, you can imagine a whole lot of things. Here for an Alexandria professional is those more therapeutic products. So we're always about skin, but it's kind of like skin plus or therapy with skin conditioning. And then the combination products is when we have kits and we kind of mix some of those. So that's, I think, easy to understand. Mm -hmm. So Again, this is the first product awareness series. I'm going to be coming back every month talking to you about a product, and you'll kind of see these colors. So don't try to memorize. Uh, again, it's just to kind of just help organize them. Okay. Kind of like our three circles. Yeah, well, that was in the quiz. <laughs> oh, that's a quiz. <laughs> there is a quiz. <laughs> Here, now we're getting quiz ideas. All right, so wellness products is where we're going to be today, and we're going to be focusing around um, the star of for what I think the star of wellness, uh, a product that I really love. Um, for those who don't really know me, if you don't remember, I started in January. So I'm kind of the baby here, right? Everybody says I've been here 10 years, 20 years. I've been here five months, but it's kind of like dog years, right? Five months could be three years. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that product, when I discovered it, I thought, wow, I can't get enough of this. There's so much of a story. There's so much about this product. Um, every time I l listen or listen to Lena speak or read something, it's kind of like a wealth. So, um, and I also like the playful aspect of it. All right, so raise your hand. Who's ready to because play with mud? Because we don't pay her enough. She has the mud sling. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who's ready to play with mud? Raise your hand. Come on, boop, boop. come on. on Where the are the hands? On the chat box. <laughs> Come on, we're here to have fun uh, with our products, you know, um, and really know what they're all about. Ooh, Jody a, is the first song. one that's playing with us. <laughs> great, great, great. Yay. Suzanne, yay! So anyways, we're going to be playing with mud, and it's okay to get dirty. So we, everybody go get your paintbrush, and I want pictures. <laughs> Lena likes pictures, and Lena likes testimonials. If you oh. have, don't know that yet, no. I'll tell you. If you don't know that, you don't know Lena. <laughs> Hi, hi, Lee. Mm -hmm. Hi, Patricia, Miranda. Great. So play with mud, get dirty. It's fun. It's okay. And it's actually good for you. Mm. Let's hear it. All right. So before I talk about the product, as I said, there is so much to talk about here. I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a story about it. Uh, it's not just random that it's called Hungarian wellness mud, just because we didn't know what else to call it. Um, there is a ton of background beho behind the origin. Because Hungary, so just so you kind of put it in perspective for those of you who don't know where Hungary is or what Hungary is, it's in Europe. But when you think about the size of the country, it's a, in the state of Indiana, so just proportion-wise. But that country is known for, it's like a destination and for ages. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, who would be 107 years old today if she were alive, was telling me how she used to go when she was young to Hungary to go to the baths because the thermal mineral baths were just known like it's a European destination for um, health and wellness. 
-hmm. And like not something you ingest, not something that a doctor will tell you. It's just people went there. So we have spas. We know about spas. Just Hungary has that uh, really world-renowned uh, destination. I mean, Budapest alone has 200 uh, thermal baths, um, et cetera, et cetera. So the, it was really hard to pick a picture for this slide. Because we have so many because There's we were so there. many beautiful places to talk <laughs> yeah. about, but this one it really kind of spoke to me because it's in an indoor and outdoor. So think about like mud is part of the culture. Part, mud is part of your everyday life. It's not just one thing you do sometimes. Like people who are really in believing in thermal bath benefits, they do it year round. So this particular one is called the Jurt Baths and it's in Budapest and has been there since 1918. Again, beautiful Art Deco building. So now when we think about Hungary and the, and the origin, we also think about, okay, but well, what about Hungarian mud? Uh, why Hungarian? How did it originate? So we kind of researched this, of course, and in 1898, um, Mr. Dr. Vilmos, I don't want to butcher that, started kind of looking at the mud from different, um, you know, thermal sources and bath and kind of found this one and started testing it and discovered that it had actually therapeutic properties. And from there, you know, everything has to be proven. You don't just say, hey, I think this is great. You know, it took about 70 years, but then the Hungarian Ministry of Health actually certified as a curative mud. So yeah. it only not only from the Kalap region. Yes, from the Kalap region. Okay. So even no, if Hungary sits on these thermal waters, that not all regions are created equal. It's important to state that because it's not that all of the Hungarian territory is certified as curative for their grounds. It's that one region. Okay. Yeah. That's a good detail. Yes. Um, so it is special, it is unique, but it's also tried and tr like it's a tried product. It's a tried sort of origin and okay. product. So let's talk about more about it. Next. It is a yeah. All right. So it's a bit slow. So mud puddle. Again, I try to distill this in a few things, but to me, first of all, it's all natural. We just talked about it. And it's this raw mud, which I really think is fascinating because it's pretty simple when you think about it. It's just mud. It's just that little mount. It's a little pretty mount. It's green, but it's raw mud and it's all natural. And yes, she dressed in green. I don't own anything green. My bad. I should have prepared better. Can you um, make some mud for me? <laughs> I should have put mud all over my face. But then I thought an hour long, I don't know how that's going to work. You crack up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll crack up. You guys are going to say, come on, they're having too much fun. What's going on? Um, but it's raw, it's natural, and it's really, really loaded with minerals. And we like to keep it that way. So... Um, Part of what I do is try to really, you know, communicate on our products uh, with consumers out there that have no idea. So some of us are professionals. Some of us have worked around this product, around Alexandria Professional for a long time. But for consumers out there, they're like, what is this? Mm -hmm. It just looks like sand that you just picked up outside. So you kind of understand how there is a story to be built because there's truly, really a story with this product. You know, marketing is all about storytelling. So I try to sort of say, what is the, what is really about this product? And I thought it's the fascination between it's dry, you get it dry, it's always dry until you activate with water. Voila. And that's where the magic happens, Voila. right? And that's super important because... There's a ton of muds, clays out there in the market. You can go on Amazon. You can buy like a tub this big and it's really affordable. But there is a story to this product and there is a reason why it's not in a tube. It's not in a jar. It is like it is because imagine this is like the maximum potency until you put the water, until you activate it. So the magic happens when you decide it happens. That's right. It doesn't expire. It doesn't like go away. You know, legally... We have to put five years because that's the maximum you can put on an item. I can tell you sugar paste or dead sea salt or mud, there should be no expiration. But by law, we have to put it, but it doesn't expire at all. That's right. So when you activate it with water or where you mix it with water, it's where all those benefits coming out. And that's why we say apply it right away to skin and then sit for 20 minutes, relax, have a cocktail, whatever you want. Yell at, yell at someone or just nothing, uh, which I like to do. I and like then someone. rinse it off. <laughs> yeah. And as always, uh, I always like to say all our products are cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan. That's sort of part of the Alexandria Professional DNA. Mm -hmm. 
So from a chemical composition, for those of you who like to know, but what's in that mud? Bum, like she's bum, like bum, so bum, many bum, ingredients. Bum, bum. The first one we need. <laughs> yes. So again, you're gonna get a copy of this. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Don't worry. If there's one thing you need to remember about it, is that silicon dioxide. That's the magic behind this mud. What <laughs> makes it so spe so special and the why most important. It why it was recognized as curative. I, I want to tell you before she goes on with your story. Sorry. Uh, back, Nadine. I, I want to tell you um, that there was a time, and some of you, maybe Lisanne's not on. I don't know if anyone on the list right now because I can't see everyone. Oh, I would say it was probably about six to ten, between six and ten years ago. Um, we were running out of mud, seriously, and I had ordered my mud uh, like several months before. And there's only one region, and and I go in a queue. It's a very short queue. Uh, it's the government, the spas, and basically us uh, to excavate. And they had massive rainfall, like a huge month's rainfall. They couldn't excavate. So we were like selling little bits of mud to different people. And um, that's when I got myself, because of it, I did two things. I got myself a contract that I go, you know, one level up when I need the mud. But it's what got me to look as many places as I could. Uh, of course, I didn't look at every single place in the world yet, but every place I looked where there's mud or clay or anything informed of what we would need it for, the highest I found was one country that had, I think it was 27% silicon dioxide. That was the highest. This is 60. And silicon dioxide is the building block of collagen. But I'm bum. <laughs> Had to share. Yes, those are the stories, you know, Lena is famous for. Because <laughs> they are good stories, too. But they're true. And they're true yeah, stories. They're, they're true. lived from the heart and body and soul stories. Yeah. All right, so no mystery to what's the top line of the next slide, right? 60% silicon dioxide. Um, and that's important because it's very high and it's a great ingredient that we ha have at a great um you know, concentration or level. And I've been in beauty products all my life. Um, and we always debate about, you know, talking about ingredients, but if there, there is just a pinch in them of that ingredient, who cares? Is it doing anything or is it just decorating the formula and something to talk about? Right. Well, here it's very real. 60% is like huge. Um, and why is that important and what makes that product really magical is because it has all these amazing properties. So we talked about being the building block of collagen and we can't talk enough about that. And when you think about collagen, it does so many different things for your body and your mm -hmm. skin. Um, and if you kind of like think about it even further, we talked about being a wellness product. Why? Because it is in those thermal baths and in thermal baths why do people go and you know like sit all the way up to their chin in that because it's proven to have um benefits for arthritis and all kinds of other ailments and pains that a lot of people suffer from and you don't have to be super old to have it people have arthritis in their 40s or even earlier sports people mm -hmm. anyone who does things repetitiously in their bodies exactly mm -hmm. And it's natural and it's actually nice to sit in mm -hmm. one of those. So again, uh, this silicon dioxide at that level makes this product really unique and special. Second of all, hey, we're Alexandria Professional. We have to talk about hair. Yes. We have to link it to yes. something we do. It's not completely random, right? Yes. We don't cure arthritis, but we want this perfect skin condition, skin that is really healthy, looks beautiful, but also from treatment to treatment, our clients are capable and able to see for themselves how our products work so well together. And so the um, mud, the mud puddle, it's really a great player for those who suffer from ingrown hairs and, and kind of like have those issues with their skin. I'm one of them. And Lena told you already about that when we did the webinar about ingrown hairs. I'm perfect because you can take pictures on my legs all day long and you can always find it. You can answer. imagine the look and I'm like, oh, we get to it. And I'm like, oh, we get to it. <laughs> so I'm actually like on the permanent reduction hair program now that, you know, when we open, now I'm going to go back. jump back on it. But yeah. I was on it for two months. Unfortunately, we have to stop that. But um, so I'm, I know exactly everything now about We have the wrong. pictures. There's some betterments yes. already. So yes. she understands. That's why she was excited to do this as the mud as the first because she's understanding its value yes. already. And you can imagine working with Lena every day. What do you think she asked me? Are you doing your skin conditioning at home? 
Gasoline, I am. And then also like she can tell, right? So one cannot lie because the minute that she's going to look at my leg again, I can't lie because if I haven't been doing it, guess what? It's not going to be looking good. <laughs> and you know, like, I can't hide that that uh, that thing you guys keep telling me I have that natural mean face just comes on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And I learned already all the faces. I think, I think, I think. But that one I know. So, uh, anyways, because I care, I am doing it. Uh, I'm part of this, so that's why I have the passion and like to talk about this product. Yeah. And last but not least, again, I just highlighted some of the key benefits here that I think are relevant to our uh, to our products, to our system, to skin, is the anti-inflammatory properties. And that one is really good for right now because one of them is that if people have sunburns, this mud is fantastic for that because it draws all the heat out of the skin and it really, really helps reduce that redness. So typically we talk about redness when we remove hair, especially bikini area. To or kind men's of backs and chest or wherever there's vellus hair, little heat friction. Mm -hmm. But now even though people, you know, not only hair removal, but also they're out there um, exposing themselves to sun and things happen. And our uh, friend, Suzanne Superka, had sent us some fabulous pictures a couple of months ago. She's from, on here today. I think Florida, <laughs> yeah, she's there, I know she is. Uh, and she just jumped on one of her friends who was not very careful with the sun. Well, when you both, you know, it's kind of part of Hard. potentially mm -hmm. getting that. And she applied mud right away. And she can kind of like send us a few days apart pictures and we could see it. So yeah. it is true, it is true every time. Um, and that's kind of like the keeps body and skin benefits that I think are the most relevant for this product. Anything right. that and, and decongesting, you know, like decongesting the follicles. So remember that yeah. everything, like forgetting all beautifying, think of the follicles first. Why do we want to clean out the follicles, decongest them is to, so that the hair extraction is intact and easier. So, you know, this being an important intricate part of that full circle helps to decongest. That's that's what you need it for. Yeah. Ingram hair, decongest the hair follicle. Yeah, decongest the hair follicles, help anti-inflammatory the ingrowns if they're inflamed, especially in a bikini, and uh, just loosen everything up and heal and make the skin even brighter. That's what it does. We love it. So this here, I kind of thought about most of us women, whether we're in the beauty industry or not, we love to cocktail products, right? We like to mix, combine, see what works for us, combine two things we love together. I love the I, I do cocktails. It, that's right. I do it all the time with <laughs> lipstick. Cocktails. I'm a lipstick girl. I love lipsticks. So, but I always kind of want to have this kind of perfect color for the outfit or for something. So you blend and blend. I do, I do too. <laughs> Yay. Love so, it. um, just like all of, a lot of other brands or a lot of other beauty categories, Mud Puddle also has a lot of, uh, plays well with friends if you want, or a oh, lot yeah. of options to mix. So some of the things I highlighted here for you is obviously the easiest way to use it is you take that dry um, powder that we talked about and you mix with water until it becomes like a medium paste that then you apply. So that's the straight. If you're really selective, just use, you know, bottled water, purified water. You know, yeah. or just your tap water will also work. But if you're really, really picky and you don't have a filtration system in, in your home, then just use bottled water or something. It's okay. Um, so um, for those of you who know some of our products, uh, other products, so here we highlighted the Essential Tonic and the Restore Hydrating Lotion. Those are what I call the professional products that typically go with um, the hair removal services. But you could take the Essential Tonic and mix with mud with the with the um, the powder itself and really apply to kind of reduce that redness we just talked about and uh, calm down the histamine reactions that some clients may get. Yeah, it's good for that, but also for acne. Yeah. You know, especially if you're gonna one. use the oh, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for body or hair removal. But uh, again, very effective product for acne as well. Acne is a skin inflammation, acne has Voila. redness, and therefore Essential tonic is full body. You can put it on your face or your body. And so for acne on the face, mix the essential tonic and apply it as a mask. So it just gives it that extra boost. Um, and also like something different that goes beyond water because the essential tonic has other ingredients as well, which is part of another series, of course. Mm -hmm. But even mixing it with the clarifying, which is also very good for like the clarifying duo, excellent for acne, um, any kind of acne. 
mixing the mud with that is also an extra boost for acne. That's right. Yeah. It's all about boosting, cocktailing to boost, to boost something. Boost, boost my the benefits, when I cocktail. Boost the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or boost, yes. Boost the party, <laughs> whatever party you're in. Uh, second one is the hydrating, the restoring lotion, restore hydrating lotion. Um, it's just, again, kind of just giving you a different texture because it's a little bit of a thicker product. The tonic is really clear and almost liquid. Uh, it's very light. This is just a little bit more warmth, maybe for drier skin or for winter. Again, year round, right? So we can play. A little bit more play. hydrating. Yeah. And, and the thing is you can mix, you can mix the restore and the, uh, and the essential tonic and the mud. You can blend like you're calling it cocktailing. I like that word. Make your own specialty. Feel what your skin needs because the more you try different things, the more you'll, yo, I really liked it when I did that. And then you'll do it again. And then maybe the next time you think, I'm going to try it this way. Learn. And, and so that way you'll be more open and more aware to what you can share with your customers mm -hmm. um, on, on all the different ways they can apply this mud at home. Yep. Yeah. And the last here uh, point, but I think Lena kind of touched upon it already, is sort of the Dermaware collection. It's for that extra benefit, extra boost. The Dermaware, for those who don't know what we're talking about, is the aromatherapy tonic and lotion collection. There are six of them uh, with different benefits, calming, healing, energizing. Um, again, is that idea of experiment and what feels good, and, and the mud can play with that as well. Um, yeah, on its own or with others. Plays well with all. Yeah, exactly. And in a bathtub, I do half a cup of... Um, Dead sea salt and quarter cup of mud when I'm feeling under the weather. My daughters know that. Lizanne knows that from traveling with me. And I do that and I go to bed and it usually helps. So if I, you know, when you're feeling something coming out, I might take something too for fever. If I'm feeling something coming on my body and do that, go to bed, usually wake up good. So a lot of good home remedies with it. Yeah. Bug bites. You know, we have a lot of testimonials on these things between sunburns and bug bites. And what else is there? You know, anti-inflammatory because there's some many like joint therapies you can do at home because we do work. She's not aware yet, but we do have a whole therapy for pain management. It's just that we don't have enough time to really get into it. But it's one one little piece of my heart waiting to really get it out there. <laughs> so... Um... I want to know how many of you know this, have tried this product, know this product, experimented with it. I'm just going to take a breath here and just see um, who knows mud puddle, who's played in the mud, who's gotten dirty. Uh, let's look at Gina here. She's asking how long we keep it on the skin, um, generally until it dries. But there's got to be different reasons why it's drying faster. So let's say you put it on right after sugaring a man's chest or back where it's, you know, red and you put it on, you should never put it on thick though, because then you've got to, you know, really wash away at it and you shouldn't have to do that after hair removal. The skin's more sensitive and you put it on and you turn around, you go do something, you turn around and it's dry, spray it. Whether you use distilled water, purified water or essential tonic, not tap water for the customers um, to reactivate because when it dries, it means it's trying to absorb out the heat. As soon as you rehydrate, pulls out the heat, rehydrate, and all of a sudden you'll spray it and it's taking a lot longer to dry. Then the job is done, you can take it off. So in that case, everybody's going to differ. But let's say for your customers, you say to do this at home, maybe because if they do it twice a week, it's a good way to help maintain collagen and skin brightness. Um, you know, 15 minutes generally. Sometimes I'm, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Sometimes I'll be at home and my daughter Nadine will say, Mom, don't you tell everybody you shouldn't let it dry, you know? What if you start crack? Because, you know, I have emotional face or I laugh a lot and it starts cracking, it starts hurting. That's what you don't want to do to your skin. So you're better to take it off as it's almost dry, which could be, depending on your own body temperature, it could be 10, 15 minutes, depending on how thick you put it as well. And then there's, you know, maybe you want to keep it on longer, just spray it. Or put a gauze, a wet gauze, you know, put the gauze, spray it with essential tonic or, or one of your dermaware and put it on top of the mud. Or if you're mixing it with the Restore Lotion, it might take longer to dry. So what I can tell you is when it's almost dry, you should be generally removing it. But it will be different depending on the situation. There's never like a damn darn black and white <laughs> answer with me. Because there's too much information. I don't want anybody to say, but you said. Because there's lots of gray. 
<laughs> and there's a lot of trying, right? It also yeah. the time. That's one thing. It's like it depends on you, your need, your skin. Your situation. What if exactly. it's humid in your room? You know, that's going to yeah. take longer. There's all these elements are actually true elements that affect everything in our treatments. Mm -hmm. But that's also good. Like if you have clients, you can actually say, hey, let's try this and let's see how it works. Mm -hmm. And next time we adjust. So it's a process mm -hmm. because there's a lot of things happening. Every It's a year long thing. Remember the circle, right? Everything is circular. Somehow I think the circle is this magic symbol that I, pays. This, I love it. <laughs> illustrates the story really well. Yeah. Uh, so you, you don't know until you try. Um, and sometimes some things work better than others. So uh, but Gina, the, thank you for asking. Cindy, trying is the key. Thank you. She's like, I, 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 I'm happy to know I can mix mud puddle. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Uh, so um, I'll jump into the questions in a one quick second. So. I just wanted to finish my slides and then we can do whatever. So last, I have one more uh, before I turn it over completely into the Q&A. Um, <laughs> so just want to remind everyone of uh, our mud puddle options. So you're probably familiar with the 24 ounce and the four ounce, which are the cylinders that we've been having uh, throughout the presentation. For retail. For retail, yes. For the back bar, uh, for your studio, you do have the large 35 ounce one that is not pictured here, but it still exists on the website when you go and um, look at that. And we should mention, because I think it's available, and you didn't correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's available in a larger pail if you're doing true therapies, you know, lots of full body wraps and things. So you should talk to us about that if it's not on a price list. It's not on the regular price list. That's so you should list. talk to us about that if that's what your location is doing. Yeah. Um, so besides that, but also if you're not sure, if you've never tried it or touched it, please get the travel kit. Um, the travel kit is a fantastic way to try any, a lot of our products, four of them, our top products, our best sellers, our most loved and asked for products. And one of them, the one that I hearted, I don't know if you see it, <laughs> is the mud puddle. Um, and also that's really great as its name indicates it to take it if you're not home, if you're, I mean, nobody's really, really traveling, but you yeah. know what I mean? If you don't want to take that big container with you, that little mm -hmm. tube is precious. And remember, it's not because it's in a tube that it's not dry. I did actually uh, do it for the first time and I'm like, oh, the powder jumped out of the tube. <laughs> What was I expecting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same great mud, just in a little compact way to, to go. And then, you know, you get that, you try it, you play around, but also you can try our other products. And rem I'll be back talking about these other products some other time. But those like, if an, or if you have a client that is not quite sure, uh, that's also the travel kit. I think it's a, it's a great thing to have. Doing the mud right after treatment, especially the first time somebody comes to you, even if it's lower legs, believe it or not, because... You know, if it's their first time and they're avid waxers, they're going to have and the antigen is going to have nice fat bulbs. When that travels through, it's going to create that little heat friction at the uh, mouth of the follicle. And the mud is actually going to help take some of that down while they're still, even if it's for 10 minutes, it'll help take some of that down. Then you finish with CC me and they can leave with like little to no little circle. It's not irritation to the skin. Because it's not like connect the dots of red between the, the, the mouths of the follicle. It's the irritation right at the heat friction when the bulb comes out. And it'll help take care of that. Lots of cute little tricks. <laughs> all right. So that's all I had. Um, thank you for listening me talk. Um, I hope you learned something. Uh, maybe it reminded you of something, learned something new. So I'm going to jump into the questions. Yeah. Uh, I see a couple in the chat box. And I'll tag team again with Lena. So Michelle is asking, why not take it off? while completely dry you can you can it's just that once it's completely dry it's done working anyway so don't let them sit there dry for nothing if you're at home and you don't take it off right away it's not going to harm your skin but let's say you say you know like i move my forehead and everything and if i laugh everything moves on my face it's going to crack and it's not doesn't feel comfortable so you better spray it if you want to crack up and, and do some some chatting or wash it off so you, it's not going to harm you. It's just it'll hurt your skin if you're moving because it cracks in. Yeah. Okay. Um, someone asked, Someone said, if it dries, you have to rub it off harder to get it off. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't have anything to show you, but I'll do my mimicking, my miming. 
let's say you put on a man's back and it's all dry. First of all, it should never be thick. Okay, you don't need to put it thick for after sugaring purposes. There's different reasons for the thicknesses and it's nothing to do with what we do. So when you go to take it off, take a nice towel or, you know, like the, the thinner ones, wet it. Don't make it dripping wet, but wet it and just squeeze a little bit out. Lay it on the, lay it on the, on the, the back and just gently, you know, like a cat, gently knead him. And all you're doing is you're reactivating naturally. And then you just massage like this, the towel, and then you go from one side and you gently, and the whole thing comes off. So that's telling me I need to do a demo. We need to do a video, not right now, video demo on that, okay. just to show you how well it works. Did we do it on the online course? I don't remember. But anyway, that means we if you don't know and your educator hasn't shown you how to remove it properly, we need to do something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's going to write it down for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Susanna is saying she never leaves the house without mud, phenomenal, and dead sea salt. And avocados. <laughs> Any other questions? She's going to be laughing. She knows the story. <laughs> but she, she's right. She never does leave without any of those things. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Questions, comments? On a product that can be shared. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. All of this can be shared on social media. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We'll be doing videos on the products that we can share Welcome, on Michelle. social media. Yes. Oh, Suzanne did laugh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, Lee, um, we do have videos on um, our products. We do have a lot of images, pictures, mm -hmm. things like that. And we have the commercials. Media. That's the commercial yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Uh, the commercial, um, the pictures, uh, and anything that we create. Um, we're working really on having it all available to you guys on the marketing portal. I'm going to answer this one from Go. Gina. How many times a week? Or ingrowns a month? in the bikini. If you're packed with ingrowns, shame on you. But then I would say at least three times a week, the whole bikini. But let's say you got one or two. I tell my customers, wet your finger or put the mud here if you want a little bit. But I used to a long time ago tell them to Wet the finger, touch the mud because the mud is not going to get wet in the mud. Just the mud is going to stick and put it on the ingrown. Leave it there. Even go to bed with it. It's not going to harm it every single day with phenomenal right after. Yes. Morning and night phenomenal. Exfoliation two, three times a week. Mud every day on the problem, especially the inflamed ones, because at the very least, it'll start getting rid of the inflammation because that's what causes the pain, the discomfort of having them. And then it'll start getting rid of that. The hair won't pop out maybe right away, but it will eventually pop out through sugaring and through natural. Uh, so no squeezing. Pop it up every day if it's only one or two kind of thing. If it's full, then two, three times a week, the full, because you got to do the entire area. Yeah. Right. It's not going to harm you. Joy is saying that she will post mud photos on the group. On the support group. Yay. Great. Well, I'll be I have commenting tons on of that. new clients switching from waxing. Gina, that's wonderful. Then that probably means you're getting tons of new clients who have some skin issues. So I would recommend if they're switching over, it's it's like prime time for you to educate them. That's why I'm glad you're here learning maybe more uh, because you need to share that with them. That full circle is their saving grace. It will, if they are coming to you with ingrowns, it will help that go away. It will help the hyperpigmentation you might have gotten from doing all of the uh, picking. You know, I'm looking at legs like I see like picked and, and then they get hyperpigmented or in the face for hormonal hair growth, anything like that. That full circle will help to clear that up, lighten it at the very least and, uh, and then get them on the permanent reduction program so that they really, you know, I'm sure they'll be grateful just for switching over with you anyway, but to bring them to a faster, better level that full circle and permanent reduction is second to none. And the brochures can help you with that. Yes. Yes. Just so the, the new clients who are not mm -hmm. used to sugaring or to yes. a professional can get kind of, it's easy to explain and something to give them for them to think about or to, to research more, read more, things like that. That's so I right. think that's a fantastic little tool. Yeah. And, and send them over to our sweet talk. Um, we have the sweet talk around the sugar pot, that full season we did, you know, they're one hour episodes, but they're there on our YouTube station. And then we have all the little sweet talk for the consumers that we're doing on Fridays, you know, and now we've got these product awareness and these product awareness are for anyone and everyone. We're not 
sharing any trade secrets. We're sharing valid information to help. Yeah. So Tracy Giancola, mud puddle for ingrowns. It's an intricate part of the full circle. Yes, intricate part. So imagine if I can share with you, it, it's really hot in here, isn't it? Is. it? Holy yeah. moly. The air is not moving. Woo! <laughs> okay, if I, that's because, don't worry, <laughs> I'll, I'll wake up. So the thing is, you, you got a picture congested follicles, and let's say there's an ingrown, and you're doing a full circle, and you're sugaring, you know, when they go for their treatment, and it's getting better, and it's starting, the inflammation's going away, and you're exfoliating at home, and then you put the mud. When the mud dries, it helps to purge, like squeeze, not just decongest the follicles, but help to purge out the ingrown hairs so that they're removed from the inside and you can take it out. I tell, I, if I was doing clients, I used to tell them, do not touch the hair that come out. Let me take it out with the sugar. Because if they try to twist it out, they can break it. So I always tell them, let me handle your ingrowns. Yeah. Um. We have a question here from Lydia. Uh, how does one become an educator? So that's something else. You will contact katie.s, as in Sam. So K-A-T-I-E dot S at alexandriapro.com and let her know you're interested. There's a process you go through, but she'll walk you through it. Okay. Anything else, anyone? I must be glistening, man. It's, I feel like it's 200 degrees in here. No, you're fine. <laughs> Oof. You're fine. Okay, everybody's at, so it all, you don't have any questions at all. Like everything is good. Okay, I'm very So happy. is this helpful? Is this good? How often uh, is it advised to use mud each week? Um, again, Michelle, it depends on the need, but let's say an overall, like me, I do it twice a week, faithfully, for my face, neck, and decollete. Faithfully, because I love what it does to me. But it's for ingrowns, then follow the protocol that should be advised by a practitioner. So if you're being the practitioner, then you should know how many ingrowns they have to deal with, if they should do it three times a week, if they should, you know, spot check every night, especially if it's inflamed. But no more, if you're doing like all, no more than three times a week. It's got to be a lot of ingrowns for you to do full three times a week. Otherwise, once, twice a week is good. Okay. Um, our pleasure for those who are saying very helpful. Thank you. Um, and again, um, I will be covering, I will be having a session every month. And as Lina said it in the beginning, there's going to be timed with our campaigns. So right now we're in the pure skin campaign, which is the second quarter of the year. Pure skin is around mud and mud puddle. And starting July one, we're going to move to liberate your skin, which is about sugar. So the topics will change depending on that. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, I'm here. I want to see, I'm listening, and I'm here to help you. So if anything needs to be changed or not, I'm excited to launch this, but let's make it better together, right? We Full circle. try so hard to get you guys to tell us what you want. We're, just, you know, we go by experience. We go by what would I want? If I need it, what do I need? but there would be nothing more pleasing to us to serve you really, really best. And that would be by serving what you really want to see from us. So don't be shy, be a part of our team all the way through the full circle. Tell us what you would like to see and we'll provide it. Yeah, right there. That's what we're here for. <laughs> oh, Cindy is asking about Lena, when is rescue coming? Rescue is coming. Uh, everything's gonna be on the website for the hand rescue kit and the face rescue kit at the end of this week. Voila. <laughs> There's a third kit coming that I don't want to tell you anything yet about because it's in progress. Yeah. That's going to be coming early July. It's better to wait until exactly. we, yeah. Because, you so know, we'll have an announcement. We'll tell you all about it. Um, and expect a e uh, an email on the hand, the hand and face rescue kits as soon as they land on our website. Play. Play with all our stuff. Play yeah. with our physical stuff. Play with our marketing places online. Play. You know, if you really love AP, really get to know everything we provide for you 
of course for you and also for you to provide to others that's mm -hmm. exactly what we want yeah. yeah more than excellence in hair removal right thank you ladies <laughs> have a Take beautiful care. day thank you